Welcome back family to another video. What I want to go over with you guys in this video is how to tell if Forex news is actually going to be negative or positive for a certain currency pair. So the way that we do this is we actually have a new source that we use called ForexFactory.com. And the cool thing about this website, right when you land on this is the um, homepage that you guys are going to see. This video might be new for some of you and it might be old for others. But what I want to go over with you guys is exactly how to tell whether the news is going to be positive or negative for a currency pair. So what we have right here is a date, our current date right here, February 15th, Friday. And then we have our times right here. So these times are actually set to the EST time zone. So I'm three hours behind this. You kind of have to correlate the time on here with your time as to where you live. And what we are looking for is we're finding that green little arrow right there that's going to tell us when our next news event is coming up so at 1 p.m. my time we're going to be having news on the US dollar and then that's going to be 4 p.m. EST and what we need to look at when we're looking for the news is we're looking at a couple of things here we have to look at the currency that we have the news on euro GBP CAD USD and then we also have to look at the impact right here so these little yellow boxes right here, that is low impact news. The orange boxes right here, that's medium impact news. And then the red boxes are actually high impact news. So as we're looking right here, we always usually want to be looking at the orange boxes or the red boxes. Usually when we have news that's a yellow box like that, there is not much news that comes out and there is not a big effect on the market when it does come out. So like I said, we have news coming out next on the US dollar. Obviously, it's not big news coming out. So what I want to do with you guys is actually go to the last red box that we had on GBP. That was at 1.30 a.m. And we're actually going to go to a currency pair that we are looking at that had that news come out on it. So as you guys can see right here, we had high impact news on the GBP at 4.30 a.m. EST, 1.30 a.m. PST. And what we do to actually find out where the news is going to be is we go to this little folder right here. We click that and then it will actually tell you exactly the measures, why we have that news coming out, the source, the usual effect, frequency, new next release, the FF notes. What we really want to focus on here is the usual effect. Okay, this is what we're looking at right here. So it says actual greater than forecast is good for currency. So that means that if we have news coming out for the GBP and it says that it's good for the currency. That means that the value of the GBP is actually going to increase in price. So we also want to look at is the history right here. This is very, very important that we look at the history, not just the usual effect, but what happened in the past when this news came out. So we can see that we had a negative effect right here, 0.9% negative, 1.4% positive. So what we are looking at, if there's more negatives versus positives, or if there's more positives than negative so obviously I see a lot more green and red and we're not just looking at the green or the red we're looking at the actual percent that it went up or it went down so what actually happened here it went down 0.9 percent then 1.4 percent 0 0.3 0 0.7 1.3 1.6 0 0.8 1.1 0 0.3 more positive news that came out for this currency right here so what we're then going to do we're going to go to a currency pair with GBP in it. And we are actually in GBP Chef. We we're trading this. And we were selling it. We actually got out here right at the bottom of this wick right here. And you guys can see that as the news came out, let's actually go to the hour time frame so we can see exactly when the news came out and what it did to the market. Okay. Let's let it load. Okay, we can see right here it had a lot of increase in price right around this range. And usually when we're looking at news, we want to be observing the trend. Told us that there's going to be a buy market. And usually when a trend is going to reverse with the reversal candle like a doji, a shooting star, a hammerhead like that, we see a hammerhead right there, then a doji, then a couple of other dojis right here. But they usually do not reverse the market unless they're at a major point of support or resistance. So this isn't a major point of resistance in the market. So after that candle formed right there, look at the next candle, how price immediately increased, immediately shot up. That's straight from the news coming out. So we can tell that this is from the news occurrence all throughout here. This is all from the news pushing the market up. And like I said a second ago, and we had the news when we were looking at it on ForexFactory.com, we saw that the news was positive. It was 
good for the currency. Actual greater than forecast is good for currency. So as that news came out saying it was good for the currency, then we saw price started to increase. Then we saw then we saw price started to increase. And this type of trading is actually fundamental trading. Technical trading is when we're looking at the trend, support and resistance, things like that. So what we basically did here to figure out whether it's going to be a buy or sell market is we looked at the technical aspect, we found the trend of the market, and then we went to forexfactory.com and got the fundamental. And that's how we got our analysis right here. So we could have saw that this was a good buy market right here because look at this guys all throughout this zone right here it was hitting the support it was just coming down big 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 it wasn't even moving at all it was just consolidating throughout this whole range right here and then finally we saw a breakout as news started to come out and price immediately increased and shot up in the market so this is very important that you guys know how to do this because news is very important in the market. If you're maybe in a trade, a sell market, and then news comes out, boom, the market could rapidly shoot up in a matter of seconds, and it could take you out of your positions. It could hit your stop loss. So you need to make sure that you know when news is coming out in the market. And this is our news source that we use, forexfactory.com. So if you guys do not know that, now you do. I'm really happy that you guys got this information. But guys, Make sure that you um take advantage on our Forex course right now. It currently is $297 as well. You guys don't need a discount code. I know I um, told you guys about it yesterday, but you guys do not need a discount code. Go to the link in the description for Forex, the Forex course or FX Accelerator, which one it is, and then you can sign up there for $297. It will dramatically help so many of you get to the next level as a trader. I promise that $297 is a very, very low fee for the returns that you guys are going to be seeing down the road. Also, if you guys don't have a big budget, maybe you have like $100 in your bank account, what I'd recommend you guys do is actually get our free seven day trial. It's free seven days for our group chat where you're gonna get daily trade alerts, weekly trade alerts on what I'm buying and selling in the market. And then also every Tuesday and Thursday night, we have live trading webinars. So there's a ton of education just on those live trading webinars. So guys, thanks for coming on this video. Also, if you have not subscribed yet already, please make sure you join the family and I will see you guys on the next video.